gosh. So you know what last night was? Yes. It was opening night in Charlotte for Into the Woods at the Belk Theater. Agony beyond power of speech. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. <laughs> So it's the reimagining of the fairy tales of your childhood, right? Mm -hmm. It first premiered in the late 80s on stage, but last year it was restaged with an all-star cast on Broadway. People lost their minds over it. Mm -hmm. And now most of that cast straight from New York is touring with the show in just a handful of cities. And that doesn't usually happen. Never yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah. Tony Award winner Gavin Krill plays Cinderella's Prince and the Wolf. He's the guy on the right, right? Brilliant Broadway veteran Jason Vorbach plays Rapunzel's Prince. He's the guy on the left. Mm -hmm. And I had a chance to talk to them about the show yesterday. Oh. If people don't know this show, it is so really just wonderful. I, but it's very rare, if ever, that an entire Broadway cast goes from New York on to tour. Yeah. Uh, how does that happen? How did this happen? We, you know what it was, I think, is we were in the building at the St. James Theater on Broadway doing the show that we all love so much. It was, well, it was supposed to be two weeks at City Center to start, and mm -hmm. then two months, and it extended for six months, and then they had another show coming in, so we had to close. Mm. But we weren't done. Yeah. We just, the show was not done. We weren't ready to, and, and when we started talking about, hey, you gonna go on tour? Yeah, I'm thinking about going on tour. Are you gonna go on tour? Mm. And it was, it was bizarre, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really special and unique. I mean, I, to the point that it was just supposed to be two weeks. Wow. And, the, and New York City just erupted. It was like a rock concert. It, uh, it was like, un, it was unlike anything I'd ever seen. And so we felt there was just this impulse to just keep telling the story. Mm -hmm. And when Broadway kept extending and we got to the end of, it was this feeling of like, we're not done. And we've been seeing that city after city. The audiences are so responsive and so joyful and the, the energy is incredible. There are people who don't know what this show is. So Jason, tell people a little bit about Into the Woods. It is the stories that we knew from childhood, but parts of it that are created in this beautiful way that we didn't know. Right, well, you know, you have the brilliant Stephen Sondheim, yeah. James Lapine, telling the story of, of a bunch of familiar Grimm's fairy tale characters like Jack and the Beanstalk. There are giants in the sky. There are big, tall, terrible, awesome, scary, All of these characters collide in the woods in the pursuit of their wishes mm -hmm. and uh, when those wishes are granted they are faced with the very adult responsibilities of what those dreams really mean and um, it's a look mm -hmm. on life and love and family and generations and it's profound it's really really beautifully profound and I feel like having been a fan of this yes and the re the show that mm -hmm. was the reason us, why yeah. I got into music theater I, it I'm still mining it with and I am discovering beautiful gems all the time things I had never thought of in the process of doing this every day I'm like I keep saying like, oh that means look at that look uh -huh. at that symbol look at that meaning mm. that intention so it, it, you'll you're never done with it you know I, what I, I there are so many songs that I love about it agony is truly one of my I mean I would play that over <laughs> and over and over again in my bedroom when I was in high school I have this image of like everyone who performs on Broadway all knows each other and everyone's friends I'm gonna let that image image live in my head don't but it's, it's <laughs> really kind of it true. really is true much of it is true it's a yeah. really small community and that was really my question because you're you're performing now with all of these wonderful I mean when you go see the show these wonderful performers is there anyone that you stand in the wings and watch their performance every time and you're like I can't even believe I'm, I'm sharing the show with these people I'll do one better I do it on stage I have one wonderful scene that I get to play with Stephanie Block yes. and to me she's she's a legend she's mm -hmm. one of Brilliant. our treasures of yes. our of our industry as is her husband Sebastian who's playing opposite her as her onstage What's husband I'm meeting you in the woods. Who minds what dangers I know will get past the woods. But when I stand on stage with Stephanie, I have to remind myself, like, you got to keep acting here because <laughs> you can't just be like, hey, Stephanie, it's me, Gavin. <laughs> I'm totally so, fanning so, out. Yeah, oh, it's just I'm such a fan of all of these people. Oh, yeah. It has to be amazing. And I get the best friends. A front house seat being oh my you know playing opposite him all the time so yeah. it's like that's my moment of like what is happening right now <laughs>
it is so important that cities like Charlotte get to see shows direct from Broadway, yeah. that tours get to continue, that we get to have that in this city. Charlotte opened its doors to us. Yeah. We are here and we are ready. There's only 10 cities that we are doing mm -hmm. this in and Charlotte was one of them. We knew we wanted to come here. We had something to share with the city. Can you imagine other Broadway casts doing that, picking up and no. moving? No. I don't think it's ever really happened. I, yeah. th I grew up in Kansas City and I was very much inspired by the theater that would come through town yeah. and to, to know that we are exactly that company mm -hmm. and that people all over the country get to see what was created and what was so special at City Center a year ago, yeah. that's really unique. And so it, it's, it's fun to share in the magic. It affects me as much as I know it affects everyone that we're playing for. Yeah. And um, it's a thrill. If you were ever a child, you will like this show. <laughs> Musical theater changes people. I totally believe that. Guys, yes. thank you so much for being here with us. I so appreciate it. Thank you for being a theater nerd. Uh, yes. Solidarity. Yeah, absolutely. Solidarity, <laughs> friends. Your sister lives here. She does. She's coming to the show on Friday. Can't and wait. your parents live in Asheville. They're coming tonight. You've been to Charlotte on oh, tour yeah. before. Yes. Let's just keep them here. Can we just keep them here? Yeah, let's. Let's let's just keep them here. I can tell you wanted to keep them here. Oh my gosh! I literally some days on this job I pinch myself because mm -hmm. I can't believe we get to talk to the people we get to talk to. They were fantastic. You're living the, your dream, chatting with them for sure. All of the information for Blumenthal Arts, uh, right there on your screen. There are some tickets available still, um, but not tons. So yeah. if you want to go, you better get them fast. Um,